Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Recha, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us this truth, and honors your citations to the elect doc, am doing these works in sincerity and in truth. So, yeah, I want to I want to title this bringing out the truth. You know, bringing out the truth, man. And it's an honorable thing to bring out the truth. And it's a brave thing and a bold thing in the eyes of the Lord. But somebody's got to do it. You know, and. Well, let me just read this Isaiah 59 and 15. It says, yeah, truth faileth. And he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Okay, so, you know, the point is that when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. So, when you depart from evil, and then you bring out the truth, and then also in the same token condemn the evil that you came out from, ultimately meaning the world, you make yourself a prey. All right. And a prey gets hunted by what? Predators. By a predator. Right. So what? You put yourself out there to uh, uh, ultimately to where there's a chance that uh, um, you can get preyed on, you know, you can get taken by the by uh, the predator, which is the so quiet man, these Edomites. Because the scriptures say some of us is going to be beheaded for this truth's sake, but ultimately you make yourself a target when you depart from evil and when you condemn evil and when you bring out the truth. Right? Even as Yahweh Shai did. This is why, Lord willing, we're going to be joined ears with Yahweh Shai for truly taking on um his truly taking on his uh, uh, stead of, of how he said he's not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then like he told Simon Peter three times, lovest thou me, feed is my sheep. So now we're in a position through the spirit of Yahweh Shai to or be sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel and to tell them to repent or, or be destroyed, you know, ultimately. Right? But this is John 77. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. See? And this is when you begin to make yourself a prey. Even as Yahweh Shai, matter of fact, man, the prime example, of our big brother Yahweh Shai. Look, he testified against the, the, the works of this place, against the two thirds and against the heathen. And they cry, oh, let his blood be upon us and our children. Just please, you know, so forth and so on, man. Oh, we'd rather have Barabbas, a known uh, robber and murderer. We rather have him freed. Why? Because they feel like at least Barabbas wasn't telling me about myself. Okay, at least uh, uh, Barabbas wasn't causing. Well, well, he was causing trouble, but not on a on, on a on a national scale. You know. This is how our people was thinking. Mainly that at least they're not telling me about myself. At least they're not condemning me according to scriptures. Because that's what burns them up. Like the scriptures say, um, my word is fire and this people would. You know, and then the, the, the another scripture, how uh, this word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Cutting the bone and the marrow and, and, and even the spirit, roughly paraphrasing. See, so it's one thing to tell somebody off, but it's another thing to have a Bible in your hand, bringing out scriptures while you're doing it, man.
Because now it just makes them feel. It, it makes them feel wicked. You know. Like damn. I'm going against the Lord. And you know. Man what who is you. Only God could judge me. You know. So. But anyway man. Going back to the point. Bringing out the truth regardless. Okay. Bringing out the truth regardless. Because part of bringing out the truth makes you a prey. And that's why what we do is an honorable thing, man. Knowing that we're making ourselves a prey unto these Edomites. For condemning him and telling him the truth. And that's also why Yahweh Mashai is going to jack his ass all the way up. The Lord's going to jack his ass all the way up, man. For uh, uh, coming against the men bringing out the truth. Scripture say, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. You see that? So we're going to uh, uh, bring out this truth regardless, man. I want to get another scripture. See, and that's the thing about it. When you have the truth, you you don't really debate. Is look, we're telling you, we're telling you, man. We're not debating you. We're telling you. Like Yahweh Shai said, the Son of Man cometh not, not to uh, uh be taught, but to teach. You see, when it comes to this uh, uh, hundred the hundred percent truth of the doctrine of the scriptures, you know, those real uh, uh, topics like uh, who is salvation for, what happens when you die, being reincarnation, not hell where you burn for all eternity. You know, uh, uh, the Father. And the son is two separate entities. All these different topics. We didn't come to be taught about it, man. Starting with the apostle and others, great millstone on down. We came to teach you and tell you and that's it. That's part of having the truth. Right? And this is a... Uh, So lock it. Let me ask. Oh, con. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. See? So we are to tell you whether you hear or whether you forbear. Whether you shrug it off and call us, you know, C, uh, um, C theorists, C theorists, you know, brothers know what I'm saying, and you keep it pushing, that's fine. But you are going to know that a prophet has been among you when it's too late. Okay, so we we bringing out the truth, whether you whether you trying to hear it or not, man. You know, because we know that this is the truth. We know what's coming. That's 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 a uh, matter of fact. Amos three and seven. And 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 it's coming real soon. Jacob's trouble, the salvation of the elect of Israel. Man, you don't gotta believe it. You don't gotta believe it, bro. You don't gotta believe it, man. But you're gonna be destroyed, and you're a nobody anyway, and you were born in vain. So how about that? Okay, so how about that ultimately, man? The scriptures say if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So if you don't have faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai, you ain't doing lessons, you know? You ain't uh, 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 staying in the spirit of the Lord. Right? Then there's no light in you anyway. So ultimately, what you're saying don't fucking matter. Because you're going to be destroyed. 
See, so this is uh, uh, Amos. See, so we we walking around knowing what's up, man. Bringing out the truth of everything, our true nationality, the 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 plans, the future plans that is finally unraveling before our eyes that the so-called white man, these Edomites, uh, 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 have, exposing it and the wickedness of it. Okay. Bringing out the complete truth. Well, praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Hashai, man. So surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord revealed the secrets unto us, man. And therefore we go out and declare it uh, 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 unto our people. Make it and making it plain upon tables, you know. But hey, man, Yahweh Bashmashai, he's not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. So he's 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 gonna um he's gonna help us in that time of need. He's gonna allow us to reap the uh, uh, rewards of our labors, man. Because we kept the word of his patience. He's going to keep us from the hour of temptation when this, when this thing goes down. All oh, praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. And let me, I quoted it a couple times. Um, and I believe that's... Um, mm -hmm. Con, this is uh first Corinthians oh yeah con uh first Corinthians four and ten it says we are fools for the Messiah's sake, Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. And part of why we're weak is because we're in his flesh. You know? We're in his flesh, man. Which his flesh can easily uh, get jacked up. But then we're strong because in the spirit, like Elisha in his, uh, uh, his understudy, the Lord, I mean, Elisha prayed to the Lord that the Lord could open up his eyes so that he could see the spirit world, man. Right? The account is the the account is there of of our of, of our forefather, man. When the I believe it was the Assyrians when they came outside of the city, Elisha's understudy he was uh he was worried. He, all these people like yo we yo we fucked, man. And Elisha prayed to Yahweh Bashmashai, Lord, open his eye, please open his eyes, so that he could see that you with us. And he opened his eyes and it was a whole bunch of chariots right there. See? So yeah, in the flesh we look weak, but really we strong in the spirit because Yahweh Bashmashai is with us, man. Yahweh Bashmashai is with us. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were weak, wasn't they? The 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 uh 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 um Nebuchadnezzar's men grabbed them up. What could they do about it? Nothing. Because they were weak. Grabbed them up. Come here. But when they got thrown in that furnace, they were strong. Why? Because Yahweh Shai himself was with them, man. So we're weak in the flesh, but we're strong in the spirit. You know? But it says, ye are honorable, but we are despised. Because what we're doing is honorable. They don't understand. Going out there in the highways and byways, week in and week out, anything can happen. And we're out there to tell you the truth. We're out there to give you a chance to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Hashai to repent. We're studying. We're rehearsing the righteous act. We're praying. We're doing all we can to please Yahweh Bashem to, to increase us. To teach you better. To teach, make it more plain to you so that you could get on board, man. 
making ourselves a prey, putting ourselves on the red list to where Esau want to come get us first for teaching the truth because he's such a devil piece of shit, evil bitch, man. Excuse my language, man. And he don't want this truth to get out because he wants to be as the most high. So therefore, he's, he, he wants to, he's licking his chops at us, bringing out this truth, exposing him. That's an honorable thing of what we're doing, man. You know, I pray, I pray to never forget that. All right. Because it, it, it makes us stronger, you know, in this truth, in the spirit to bring it out furthermore, man. Knowing that what we doing is honorable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, but we are despised. Why? Because the scriptures say, when place of repentance was opened unto them, they understood not, but despised it. You know, so they despised this liberty that they got. Uh, uh, well, ultimately, they, they despised uh, uh, the truth coming out, telling them that they need to repent, man. You know? Tell them that they need to rehearse the righteous acts. Okay. It's a, a, a. Why? Because they say teacher to us smooth things, man. They don't want to hear they're going to be destroyed and this and that. They just want to live their lives. They don't want to hear a time of trouble is coming when they just had a newborn baby, newborn baby boy, just got a new house, just got married. They don't want to hear all that. See, so they despise them. Man, what? what's wrong with y'all? You know, but you wasn't supposed to make this place your rest. So anyway, man, Lord 